Hello, and welcome to this USA Spending API webinar video. This video will show you how to access the API endpoints powering the web page through the Inspect feature. The video will be broken into three parts. First, we'll discuss what an API is, then we'll go over a get request example, and then finally a post request example. Let's get started. When to use the API. The USA Spending API powers all functionality on the website. Anything you can do on the site, you can do in the API. The API has some functionality not available on the site. For example, you can search for new awards with the API, but not on the site. For many simple and one-off tasks, it's often easier to use the website. But you may want to consider using the USA Spending API if you need functionality which is only available through the API. If you need to automate a report that you'll need to run periodically. If you want to automate a repetitive task, which would otherwise require manual work on the website. Or if you want to build a workflow that allows you to do more of your tasks in tools like Excel. What is an API? A useful analogy when imagining an API is the workflow of a restaurant. The back end is the kitchen where they transform the raw ingredients or data into simple and digestible formats. The front end designs beautiful ways to present the data to help humans consume it and gain insights from it. An API bridges this gap by providing the data curated by the back end team in a standard format for presentation on the website or other tools. USA Spending uses REST API endpoints to transfer formatted data from the server to client browsers. A REST API endpoint uses a set of defined rules to share or access this formatted data through an HTTP request. USA Spending endpoints each present different data elements with different levels of aggregation and enable different sets of filters. For example, the set of endpoints used to power state profile pages are different from the set of endpoints used to power advanced search. Get and post are two different types of REST API requests. Certain endpoints require you to use either a get or post request. Get requests are used to get data on a specific record with a known numerical identifier. On USA Spending, they are typically used when little to no filtering is required like the total dollar amount of obligations for a specific state in the last 12 months. Post requests are used in USA Spending to support more advanced filtering, like a list of all of the awards that were awarded to a specific congressional district in a specific fiscal year. Now that we've talked about what an API is, we can dig into how you can use USA Spending's API to answer your federal spending questions. Our first example will use a GET request to find out how much money went to a certain state in the last 12 months. The first thing you want to do is navigate to your desired state's profile page on USA Spending to see the total award amount in a period. For this video, we will look at California State Profile page. You will then right-click on the web page to inspect it. The Inspect window will pop up on your screen. Next, you will need to click the Network tab and refresh the page. Make sure you are looking at the path of the API calls instead of the name or URL. You can change this by right-clicking on the box that says Name or URL, deselecting Name and or URL, and selecting Path. Once you've done this, you will see different API calls powering the page. A helpful tip when looking for a specific call is to use the filter box in the upper left-hand corner. You can type in API .usaspending.gov into this box, and it will greatly reduce the amount of API calls you see. For this example, click on the API v2 recipient state 06 request. There are multiple tabs, but right now we will focus on the headers tab. 
three things to notice here are the request URL, the request method, and the status code. The request URL is a combination of the API's URL along with the specific endpoint that we're looking at. The request method here means that the endpoint we're looking at here is a GET request. And the status code of 200 means that the endpoint is functioning properly. Copy the request URL and open it in a new tab on your browser. Compare the output in this tab to the original website to make sure you have the desired API call. Now we can move on to our second example. This example will focus on post requests. We'll be looking into how to find how much money a specific congressional district received in a specific fiscal year from the U.S. government. In this video, we will be looking at the 8th Congressional District in Florida and fiscal year 2021. We are going to use USA Spending's advanced search tool to find this API call. We start off very similarly to the get request example. Traveling to advanced search, inputting the desired filters, clicking search, and then inspecting the web page. Again, you'll need to click on the network tab and refresh the web page. Your filter search should still be present in the upper left hand corner, but if it isn't, add it again. Once your network tab is loaded, look back to the advanced search screen and click on map, recipient location, congressional district, and then zoom in to your desired location using the map feature. Note the number you are interested in. Once you've completed all of these steps, look back to the inspect window and click on the bottom or most recent API call. It should say API slash V2 slash search slash spending by geography. We will first look at the Response tab. Locate the section that matches the Congressional District you are interested in, and confirm that the number on the map matches the aggregated amount in the Response tab. We have found the correct API call. Now we will look at the Payload tab. Note that the filters match the filters we applied in the advanced search. Next, we will look at the Headers tab. Note the request URL, the request method, and the status code. Copy the request URL and paste it into a new tab. Once on the page, click on the highlighted here, and the documentation for this endpoint can be found here. We can compare the documentation for this endpoint to the Payload tab. Observe which attributes are required and that the filters attribute takes an advanced filter object. This object is integral to using an API that powers advanced search. Also note, the time period filter takes a time period object and the recipient location filter takes a location object. You can use the Payload tab with the endpoint documentation to write your own API call for your desired software or application. Thank you for watching this USA Spending webinar video. Visit us at usaspending.gov to see federal spending transparency in action. As always, you can send us an email at usaspending.help at fiscal.treasury.gov to give feedback or ask questions about the data or the website. We look forward to hearing from you.